Guys, we have been on a journey going through the Tabernacle of Moses. I hope you've been able to see all the videos. If you haven't, you might want to go back and watch the ones that you've missed. But this journey is so important. We started by showing how the Tabernacle of Moses tells us about who God is, tells us about who we are, and it tells us the path of a deeper spiritual walk, and it shows us what heaven actually looks like. I wanna encourage you to look at the tabernacle of Moses and begin to explore what that means for your life. We've talked about so many different things. Let me give you just a couple applications that we'll leave you with. In the tabernacle of Moses, God inspired people. The very first time he ever filled somebody with the Holy Spirit, he inspired the craftsmen that built it because the, the exact form of these pieces of art, the colors, the textures, the smells, the fragrances, everything, it came together and it created an atmosphere that was conducive to his presence. If you will cry out to heaven, heaven will give you patterns on the earth, patterns of governmental structure, business structure, even interior design that are conducive to the atmosphere of heaven. And this is one of the ways that we can co-labor with God to bring heaven to earth. This pattern is a pattern of prayer. If you walk through the seven pieces of furniture, identifying with the sacrifice of Christ at the brazen altar, identifying with his death, burial, and resurrection, and confessing our sins at the, the brazen laver, coming into the table of presence and remembering that he is God with us, that he has made provision for healing and deliverance, coming to the menorah and asking for the fullness of revelation that God would speak to us through the, the, the sevenfold wisdom of God, that it would be made manifest to us, coming to the altar of prayer and bringing our requests before him and, and looking upon the mercy of what God has done, understanding his ways and how he has demonstrated this path of deeper fellowship with him. As we continue to grow, as we move beyond a, a, a simple beginning form of Christianity where it's just about learning the rules and, and learning the precepts and the way things work and go deeper where we're, we're learning to respond to the voice of God and we're being led by Him, by revelation into the deepest place where we're moved by His presence and we don't always hear and we don't always see, but we feel feel his heart and that guides us and that directs us. As we continue to press in, there's so much more. And I want to encourage you, go deeper because there's more. And the invitation has been made and Jesus has made a way for you to go as deep as you want. And that is a beautiful thing found in the Tabernacle of Moses. Thank you.